Hello, this is a PCOM4. It's a compact service unit. It does ventilation, does hot water heating, it does space heating, and it does space cooling. And people ask me, hmm, is it complicated to maintain? And the answer is no. There are essentially two parts of it. There's the ventilation side and there's the water side. The water side, because it's an unvented cylinder, you should have it checked annually. So things like the expansion vessel and the pressure relief valve, which are safety features, should be checked annually. Also in the tank is an anode, which protects the system. That also should ideally be checked in the first year. Anodes can last several years. It does depend on the, the, the hardness of your water. So for some people, an annual change might be necessary. For others, five years, who knows? Uh, but your service engineer, when he checks, will, will let you know when it should be looked at again. On the top half, we have a heat exchanger. And again, annually that should be checked along with the condensate drain, just to make sure it's clear and draining properly. Right at the top is the bit the homeowner can do. And that is change the filters. And the filters are by far the most important thing on the machine. The reason for that is without proper airflow, the house isn't nice and the machine struggles. Opening the two clips at the top exposes the filter cabinet and there they are. They're held in place by two slide out grips. Once you've slid those forward, the filter can come out. You could clean it with a vacuum. You, or you could replace it. Certainly if anyone in the property has breathing issues, it is a good idea to change it regularly. Anyone with hay fever, change it in the spring. That's a really good time. They have indication arrows to say which way they should go. Air flows are always going down in this machine. So make sure your arrow points down. Make sure you have F7 for the fresh air side and M5 for the extract side. I won't do both filters because you've seen one, it's exactly the same procedure. Just lock it back in position, close the flap. The job is done, except for you need to go to the controller, menu, actions, filter changed, press yes, and oh, yes, press the wrong button. And there we go. Job done. Thank you for watching.